Anand Ambani and Radhika Merchant might have been the talk of the town with their mega wedding festivities that have spanned months, but the real man making it all happen is billionaire Mukesh Ambani, Anand's father. The business magnate is chairman and managing director of Reliance Industries, and he owns Antilia, a residence inspired by the legendary Atlantic Island. Mukesh's family home located in South Mumbai is believed to be the world's most expensive private residence and is maintained by a staff of over 600. The luxurious 27-story mansion, which is about 570 feet tall, is estimated to have cost between one to two billion dollars and offers panoramic views of the city. The Ambani's also own several properties in India and abroad, such as a residence in Gujarat and the Stoke Park Estate in the UK, a 300-acre property with a luxury hotel, golf course, and country club. Mukesh Ambani, chairman and managing director of Reliance Industries, is one of the most influential and wealthiest individuals in the world. His transformation of Reliance Industries into India's largest private sector company is what he's best known for. Ambani's lifestyle is marked by luxury and discipline. Despite his crazy wealth, he maintains a structured daily routine, starting with a simple breakfast and family time. In his free time, he's involved in philanthropy through the Reliance Foundation, which focuses on education, healthcare, rural development, and sports. And he also owns the Mumbai Indians, a leading cricket team. Mukesh is married to Nita Ambani, who chairs the Reliance Foundation and Together, they have three children, Akash, Isha, and Anant. It was Ambani's perseverance and drive to achieve better things that motivated him and his family to move from a small two-bedroom apartment to a 27-floor megastructure in one of India's most prestigious and expensive neighborhoods. So, let's start by looking at his main residence. A house as grand as the man himself until you redefine the phrase living large with its 27 floors of opulence. The epic skyscraper located on Billionaire's Row in Mumbai, India is built to withstand an earthquake of magnitude 8 on the Richter scale. Named after a mythical island, Antilia is considered one of the world's most expensive private homes with an estimated value ranging from 1 to 2 billion dollars. Technically, Ambani's building covers 27 floors, but its height is equivalent to a 60-story building due to its massive high ceilings, with each floor as tall as a typical two-story building. Standing at about 568 feet, Antilly is considered the tallest house owned by a single family in the world. However, some disagree, since Antilly also accommodates around 600 staff members. This includes bodyguards, assistants, and other security personnel who have a large area of the building to live in as well. Constructed between 2006 and 2010, Antilia was uniquely made to have a different theme on every level, with handcrafted materials sourced from around the world. And no two floors are the same. The building is grand as can be, but it's still a family home where the Ambani's gather for meals, celebrations, and quiet evenings together. The top six floors are designated as a private full floor residential area for the Ambani family, which they can access via high speed elevators. In fact, the elevators are super fast and there are nine of them. With the press of a button, one can move quickly and smoothly between floors with as minimal wait times as you can imagine. Mukesh Ambani's home features a temple, numerous guest suites, a hanging garden, helipads, a salon, an ice cream parlor, a yoga and wellness center, and a private movie theater that can accommodate 50 people. There's even a noteworthy garden on one floor that acts as a divider between the corporate offices and residential mansion above. Mumbai summers are notoriously hot and humid, making it hard to stay comfortable both outdoors and indoors. However, Mukesh, well, he made sure to address that issue in his own way. To combat this intense heat, the Ambani's installed a snow room in their house, providing a cool retreat from the extreme summer temperatures. And the summers may be hot, but everyone still needs vitamin D to stay healthy, so, while constructing Antilia, they ensured the walls were made of materials that allow a lot of sunlight to get in, maximizing their exposure to natural light indoors, just in case they don't get out much. 
Another crazy feature of the Ambani's home is a parking garage for 168 cars, as well as a car servicing station on the seventh floor. Aside from Antilia, Mukesh owns several other properties, such as a lavish mansion in Gujarat, India, near Alliance Industries Refinery. Mukesh also acquired a stunning estate in the UK back in 2021 for nearly $73 million USD. The iconic property is known as the Stoke Park Estate in Buckinghamshire, London, which spans 300 acres and features a luxury hotel, golf course, and country club. It's said that Ambani and his company purchased Stoke Park as a trophy asset to enhance Reliance's global portfolio and expand their presence in the consumer and hotel sectors. At the time of purchase, Mukesh said he'd maintain the mansion as a members-only club and plan to upgrade the luxurious and sporty amenities on the historic site. It's noteworthy that modifying any part of a UK grade one structures like Stoke Park requires written consent from English heritage. A recent media report suggested the Ambani family might make Stoke Park their main home as the experience of spending the pandemic in Antilia made them feel the need for a second home. Stoke Park, formerly owned by the Roger King founded International Hospitals Group since 1908 was put up for sale in 2018 and, before it became a country club, it was a private home. The historic estate also served as the backdrop for a ton of Hollywood productions, including two James Bond movies, Goldfinger with Sean Connery and Tomorrow Never Dies with Pierce Brosnan. The estate's 27-hole golf course, designed by Harry Chaplin Colt back in 1908, is Stoke Park's main highlight. The property also features 49 luxurious guest rooms and suites, 13 tennis courts, and 14 acres of private gardens with amenities like riding and sport fishing. Reports show that the Ambani's further added a temple and a state-of-the-art medical facility to the estate. After looking at Mukesh Ambani's homes, mainly the iconic Antilia and the historic Stoke Park estate in London, we can see his success has paid off. That'll wrap up today's video, but let me know which of the properties you liked best. Thanks for watching. I'm Kara. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and we'll see you next time. Bye.